Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we're gonna check out five affordable knives that are good quality. So, starting it off, we have the Shielded Knives Viper. Now, my one downfall to this is it only comes in orange, or at least that's all I can find it in, but other than that, you know, if you are a type, if you are a recurve type of person, this one's pretty good. It has a heavy recurve, so you're going to get a lot of benefits out of, you know, the cutting performances because of that, because this belly is going to trap materials as you slice across it. You know, it's obviously going to be very good for poking and things like that. Good utility cuts, all that stuff, possibly self-defense. I know it's a liner lock, so that's arguable, but, you know. Um, deep carry clip that is is inset with flat screws and the action is super snappy 154 cm steel really good quality steel and you know 154 cm is probably the top of affordable um steels or the top of I guess you could call it budget steels, but 154 CM is not a budget steel. It is a mid-grade steel. It is very close to S30 v, S30V and S35VN. So 154 CM is a fantastic steel choice, especially if you can get it for a good price. But yeah, the action's really good. The ergonomics are really good. Access to the lock bar is good. It is riding on ceramic caged bearings. And yeah, it's a super solid knife. It's definitely built very well. Next is the Sen Cut Bakel. I think it's the Bakel 2 or something. Now, it's slim, it's small, it's lightweight, but man, is it good. And one of the reasons why I like this knife so much is this handle, because like it's like I can pinch it right here like this, and it kind of reminds me of like an anchovy or something. I don't know, a minnow, but... This blade is super slicey and you have so much control, you know, just the way this handle is. You know, if you wanted to slice something, you could. If you need to do utility cuts, you can. If you need to cut straps, you can. But these, this pinch grip right here, there's just so much control in this little knife. And, you know, it's so compact and small, you know, you could obviously carry this without even knowing you have a knife on you. So it's very lightweight, super snappy. The flipper tab is, um, it, it's not uncomfortable. The detent's not too light, not too strong. Really good detent, super snappy. As soon as you break the detent, it definitely flies. Access to the lock bar is great. And that's another thing I appreciate because I can't stand having, especially a small knife like this, have poor access to the lock bar. Uh, deep carry clip that is inset with flat screws, but it's not reversible. TA hardware all the way around. And the blade steel is D2 steel on this spear pointish or drop point blade, whatever you want to call it. Very thin geometry, very slicey. My one negative is, you know, I kind of wish the plunge grind and sharpening tool was a little bit better, but I'm personally not mad at it for, you know, this type of knife. It's super affordable and is as good as it as well as it's built i mean this is an awesome awesome knife like this would be a great gift knife for for a lot of people like if you want to get you know an uncle or something a knife next is the kubi ku 331 i think it is i think it's a 331 yeah the ku 331 so this is one i've had for for a bit you know it's been out for a little while uh there's actually a, a probably a half a dozen uh, Kubis that are really, really good that I could have put right here alongside this one. So this is just one of the many. Um, I like this because it has multiple forms of deployment. You have the front flipper, which is done perfectly. And it's crazy because there's so many companies that are like two, $300 knives with front flippers and can't get this one thing down pat that Kubi did. Put the jimping all the way up to the top. You didn't have to go all the way around down to here, but you have to go all the way up to the top peak. You see that? That jimping is perfect, so it's grippy all the way up. There's no spot to slip off of. And then you got this massive hole deployment that is really, really good. And Kubi for like the past, I would say, year and a half-ish, has been just perfecting the detents, man. Like I remember like about a year and a half ago, I got like five Kubis and I was surprised with every single one of them. Like, man, this detent is so crispy. In fact, the first Kubi I ever got years ago before I ever started the channel um, was like the best value knife even till today. Um, and that was the Aris, I think it was called, the Kubi Ares, Aries, Aris, 
something like that. Anyways, um, it was 50 bucks for carbon fiber and D2, solid carbon fiber, but that knife had some of the snappiest action. And I knew it right there, you know, Kubi, Kubi's got it down pat, but you know, as far as budget knives go, they've really um, been knocking it out of the park. So this one's an OS 10, I believe. No, this one's D2. I do think they have some OS 10 ones. I might even have an OS 10 one. So Kubi does a lot of steals in D2, 14C, and OS 10. So, you know, you, you kind of have a little bit to pick from, and some of them come with the same models, just with different steals. They even go up as far as uh, S35VN, S90V. So Kubi has a lot of things going on, um, a lot of steals and, you know, lots of variations and stuff between models. Good access to the lock bar, very smooth on the drop. You can also thumb flick it, extremely ergonomic. Deep carry clip that is reversible. T8 hardware all the way around. Yeah, this is a, a winner for sure. Really, really good. And this blade shape, you know, it's a, a drop point blade with this beautiful swedge. So you're gonna be able to do utility cuts. You're gonna be able to slice really good. It's got that belly on there. So if you do things with the belly or even like going down and cutting rope like this, like that's gonna work really good for that. So um, let's get to the next one. Now the next one is possibly my favorite um, petrified fish. And this is the PFB03, the B03. I don't know, they need to do something with their names, but the B03, I think this thing is so awesome. They did such a good job with it. So one, love the blade. The blade, beautiful drop point blade. Um, now it is in D2 steel, so that's the one little downfall. And not really though, because it depends on the price, right? And, and I don't think this is this is a bad deal for, for D2, especially when you look at the handle, because the handle is not only extremely ergonomic, but it's got this G10 with this carbon fiber that's inlaid into the G10. You wouldn't even know it was there. It's so, It's so well done. Like you, you, there's no seams, no nothing. And the shape of this handle is exactly the way your hand is. So talk about ergos. And then good access to the lock bar, very smooth on the drop. The flipper tab is uh, super snappy, or the detent is super snappy. The flipper tab's a little bit pokey, but it's fine. It, it's not uncomfortable at all. You could flick this all day without, you know, fatiguing or anything, it's okay. Uh, but that detent though, man, when you break that, that detent, this thing rockets out. It's hard to fail this knife. Uh, nice sharpening tool on plunge grind. They did taper the, the plunge grind perfectly. They left you a few good sharpenings in there. Yeah, this is absolutely perfect. Um, one of my favorite, if not my favorite, petrified fishes, especially as far as the affordable knives go. So last is a Trivisa knife. Now I forget the name of it. I'm sure I'll put it up on the bottom of the screen. Um, a lot of these companies, or some of these companies, not a lot of them, some of them, man, they, they got to work on their names. Um, but anyways, this one might have a name. <laughs> I just don't know it. There's so many, there's so many. Anyways, so this is a bolster lock, or technically a faux bolster because it's not a bolster lock. It does have bolsters, but it's not a bolster lock. So it is a liner lock with bolsters and G10. I do think it looks really good. It has a very attractive look to it. It looks very premium without being premium. It has nice pivot collars on both sides. The clip is a budget clip, which you can totally see that. So that is one thing that kind of stands out, but the clip works good. So, you know, that's obviously a good thing. The action is super good. It's a small, minimal flipper tab. So if you're the type of person that likes minimal flipper tabs, this thing works great for that minimal flipper tab. Um, the ergonomics are really good, but I do have one significant negative about the ergos, and it's not really the ergos in cutting or in use, it's in closing the knife. So this corner right here is very sharp. So it makes it to where when you go to open, close it like that, like right there when I went to close it, it it's poking me in the hand right there. and you know, like when you flip it, if it's poking you right there, when you're flipping it, it does the same thing. So you could easily knock it down. So like I could literally just take some sandpaper and, and grind it down and it wouldn't even look bad. It would just put a little, little chamfer right there. So that's probably what I'll do is just chamfer the edges, but I like to leave it so that I can show you guys, you know, when we're uh, talking about these knives, but it's nice and centered. It is ergonomic as far as in the cutting position goes. Pinch grips are gonna be great. It is a 10CR, I believe, 10CR, 15 MOV, phenomenal steel. 
I like that steel. It's a really good quality steel. You know, it's similar to OS 10 and 10 CR, so you can put it in the same realm as those. Um, access to the lock bar, not amazing, but it's good. It's okay. So it's easy to do. I, I wouldn't call it bad. I, I always want more, but, but it's not bad. Um, but yeah, super snappy. Uh, great, great uh, fit and finish and just tolerances and overall build quality. So, you know, it's definitely a good one. Now, you know, the price, obviously, you know, it's going to be a more affordable price considering the materials, stainless steel bolster, steel liner like G10, 10CR, it is affordable materials, but they're put together very, very well and packaged nicely. So it's definitely a knife that, that could serve anybody well. But like I said, you'll probably want to knock down those corners. Anyways, work hard, stay tough. You guys know society's relying on you. Until next time, peace.